Hello, hello. Can y'all see me now? Hey, LP. Can y'all see me? Hey, Kiki. Press one. I mean, put a one if y'all can see me. Put a two if y'all can hear me. Okay, you can't see me. Let me get my phone so I can follow the chat. I don't know what I did with my phone. I can see the box, but not you, a person, and can hear you. Okay, that's good. That's what I want y'all to see, the box. So, this is my adventure in putting a, a beehive together. And I'll probably separate it in different steps. But we go see how far we get. So let's open the box. Yes, Homestead in the hood, it is a familiar box. I didn't had it for a good while, but I just decided why not start putting it together. Hey, Kadesh home. Dang, Kadesh Farm Homestead. I was about to skip it. Good evening. So this, this kit's supposed to have everything. You just have to put it together. So right here, that's the queen of scooter for the queen bee. Go put that to the side. This is the manual. It smells good, though. Some of the pieces. And they look familiar too. Look at that. Some nails. And you can tell this is for the uh, the bottom because they're bigger than the other ones. Uh oh, <laughs> these are part of the frames.
Yes, it is, Kadesh. I'm just jacking your name up. I'm sorry. But yeah, it's my first one. See, I hate that they you can't uh use certain music because I would have some music playing. Okay, let me get everything out the box and I'll show y'all what all they have in there. Feel like I'm putting together a, a, a house. Homestead and Hood, when the bees made their own comb and honey, some of the frames slid out of those nails be sure to use uh a glue i have glue i have a uh, a brad nailer too you are a bee house So these, I'm going to just take it out and then lay it on the table so y'all can see. Yay, I'm so proud of you. If you need any guidance, sis is here. We've been beekeeping for over 11 years. Oh, that's awesome. What's that homestead in hood? Ample glue? This is the bottom. I can't... Hey, Sandra, living a full life. Good evening. Top, top. This is the top top, so I know I'm not going to use this um, in anything, so I'm going to just put it back in the box. Hey, Shakira. Good evening. If I missed anyone, uh, please uh, forgive me.
So I have my glue. I think I put the bottom together first. I think. Got my glasses. Safety first. Wish I could put y'all up some more so y'all could see. What can I put y'all on? Give me a second so I could uh your B house talk to text is not pick up my words correctly, though my speech is still off. Use both nails and ample glue when assembling. You do not want to lose your honey and comb because your fame fell apart. Yes, yes. That's good advice. Good advice. So let me see what it where should I start? So step one says gather the eight main super panels, hardware, and tools. Separate the small, super, and medium super panels for an easier assemble. Step two, turn the handles so they are facing outside of the box and dry fit panels together to form the hive box. Connect together tightly and tap with a rubber mallet. So now I gotta go find a rubber mallet. Okay, so Should be a front and a back, and a front and a back. So I'm thinking these are the same side, and these are the same side. Yep, that's what goes together. So, I have these two, which is the long side, and these two, which is the front and back of this one. Then I have these two, which is the top part. So, I'm going to do the bottom part first. So it says, do this. Like it's too big. Oh, this the So 
I'm assuming this fits in here somehow. But they look real big. I'm going to get it together, y'all. Oh, I see it. I see it. I think I see it. Why they look like they don't fit? I guess they, they triangle because so they can squeeze into each other. Oh, I, no, I still don't see it. I'm tripping because... Oh, get the mallet. But you see how that's like this, right? And these are like this. It's like perfect square. Let me see if I can find the mallet. Yeah, you wouldn't remember where that brother mallet is. It's just in the book kind of the cheese. Find that uh the arm on the corner. Find the arm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see it. Let me cut some of these off. Okay. See, that's good that you was here, sis. So you can tell because I still, um, let me see. Where is it? Now I don't know what I did with the directions. Hey, Team Benson. Desert Garden. Trying to put together a beehive. Lining up the inside pieces correctly. Okay. Let 
eight main panels. Oh, see so you do. I see what you're talking about now. Yep, yep, I did have the wrong ones. These are them right here. Look like they don't line up right. Those are just square. We figuring it out. Figuring it out. But it looked too short. Let's see. This look too short. Let me see. I gotta look at the picture. Oh, keeper. Putting boxes together is a new one for me, we bought ours from my Amish friends already put together. You got this, though. Thank you. Q, how many insert frames do you have? I have 20 in all. It's 10 for the bottom and 10 for the top. So it said, make sure I have my eight ones together, right? And it's supposed to just come together. And it ain't that easy. Turn the handles so they are facing outside of the box. Dry fit panels together to form the high box. Connect together tightly and tap in. We're going to get this. See, they're not big, though. As big as these. You see how big that is? I got to find something to have some big ones like that. See, like this. Oh, that's both of the uh, same thing. I'm going to try this mallet.
gonna get it, y'all. Y'all just gotta be patient. So the sides have I think that's the bottom. I'm probably end up doing the bottom first. <clears throat> This is crazy. See, it seems like it just don't fit. I'm making sure my handles is the same way. Okay, put it on the floor. Q lay it flat like a puzzle. And then try folding it up to fit them. Hit it with the mallet. There is no button bottom there. Is a front and a back and two sides. Yes. Oh, so I should have a bottom too. You say it will fit. I'm just saying, y'all, look at this. Do that look like that fit? It probably do. I'm probably just not putting it in right. Okay, put it on the floor and use the mallet. Okay, let me, I'll be right back. Hooray! Hey, Gina versus Gina. <laughs> Thank you, Homestead in the Hood. 
it just didn't seem like it was going to fit. And then you still, whew. Okay, let me go see if I can do this other one. I'm sorry, y'all. Uh, <laughs> I wanted to share this with y'all. Hold on. Okay, that's part one. And I think I'm done for today. <laughs> oh. Man, I ain't doing the frames today. That's a lot of frames. Yeah, but I completely completed. I'm going to put some, uh, I got a brad nailer. I'm going to nail these together. But this is all I'm doing tonight. Yeah. <laughs> I'll uh, probably come back, like she said, um, with the frames another day, probably next weekend. But we accomplished the box. I can say I got a box. So it's Saturday. Enjoy y'all Saturday. For people watching the replay, you know, think about subscribing. And everybody be blessed. And thank you so much, Homestead in the Hood. I'm glad you was here today. You say make the other box. I'm make the other box off the camera. Okay, look. Now she tells me to make the other box. Yes, Gina, that was work. Hey, James Franklin. Okay, I'm gonna try the other box right quick. Okay, homestead in the hood. We go see.
Okay. Woo. So I got the bottom. Thanks to Homestead in the hood. And hey, Cotham Creation. Ain't got that much space. And I got the the top. So, next thing, um, probably next weekend, I'll probably uh, show y'all the frames. We'll we'll do the frames. All right. Two and a half minutes. It took you. Yes, once I figured it out because like the first one, because they don't they don't fit exactly right. So when the little uh wood popped off, I'm like, oh shoot, but that's the only way you go get it in there. Uh, the um only way you go get it in there real good if if some of the wood pop off on some of them. Oh, uh, thanks, James Franklin. But still, I'm I still don't have a space for a beehive. I'm just putting it together. So when the time comes that I'm a I'ma start off running. Thank you, Eco Neighbor. And hey, bro. Yeah, so this was part one. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed my little challenges or whatever because it was it was hard but thank you because i have a sister in the garden community that helped me out homestead in the hood if y'all not subscribed to her go check her out because she's doing a lot of stuff over there ah uh, thank you Kadesh, a sis. I'm just going to say sis. <laughs> I hope it does help people out. So y'all have a good night and y'all don't uh, party or, you know, have too much fun because tomorrow is Sunday. So we got to go to church. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. <laughs> but yeah, I have... Um, to help me out, I have this glue, and I have a a, a Brad nailer because I'm a um, staple it into place to help me out. So y'all take care. See y'all next time. You see, grow your own food from my other sister, GG Naturals. Oh, happy early birthday and happy Mother's Day to all the mothers. Right. Y'all have a good night. You hear my husband talking all loud. Good night. <laughs>